It's Mutant Bobblehead Day for the first 10,000 fans with extra limbs here at Three Mile Island Stadium here in Steeltown, Pennsylvania. I got seven extra knuckles, Grim. Hey, extra fingers and toes don't count. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Tokyo Terminators take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Oh, <laughs> It's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said, how not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was a frayed cord to the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Rumbling and stumbling, he could go all the way. Never get into a dance off with a robot. They're programmed to perfectly execute dance moves with just the right amount of sass. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now wants him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. First and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there.
Second and three. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Kyle sure now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big port of John in here. We're a freaking tracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. <laughs> Second down and ten. for a first down. First down and one. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. He goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, 
Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. Caught for the first down. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And it's first and ten. Six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. That'll be second down and four. should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sitters then. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Man, what a hit that was! First and ten. That was like the Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hey, did your mother ever tell you don't run with a chainsaw? to a Paul Bunyan getting caught up by the Texas Chainsaw Guy. Disturbing, yet interesting. It's a touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. It's 
first and ten. First and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Don't worry. If he shots you to death, maybe he can shot you back to life after. Yeah, not oh, welcome to Bubble Town. Population, this guy. Oh, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. First and two. sure who he was throwing to on that play. Second down and two. Turn here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Warning sounds, only two minutes left in the first half. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. He picks up five on that play. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Third down and five. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And that is caught for a first down. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock. You know, Grim? Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math. 
left after that hit. Much math. Exactly. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we are, Quinn. Aren't we all? Second down and six. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. And that'll bring up third and one. And the crowd goes wild! Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, with the brutal hit. First and ten. That's a four yard gain. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I must let him get his pass for me. Give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back to the start of the second half. It's a close game and should be a battle to the end. The teams line up for the kickoff. To my second half buzzes, just kicking it right on time. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. for three second down and seven First and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. down and five. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Third down and 
The offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Well, you can check dead ref off your mutant bingo card at home. One down! That didn't take long. I won't even get out of it. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Hunter's going to find a cutoff bison head in his bed tonight. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Hey, the punt being snagged. He got hit by a car and died. Why did I just tell that story? He could go all the way. He's at the 10. And he scores. That's six points for a special teams unit on a fantastic punt return. And for those of you that had him on your fantasy team, Congratulations! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Second down in a lot. First and ten. He picks up ten yards on that play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Second down in a very lot. And he held on to that one for a 
first down. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feel. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. point but this guy could blow it the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond First and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to meet it. It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth! <laughs> and he just slipped away like if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. And it's first and ten. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. It's a touchdown! Man, look at him dance. <laughs> he can't help himself. I thought robot time's supposed to feel emotions. Looks like someone needs to watch Blade Runner again. point attempt it's good when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay
first and ten. First and ten. And that's a great nine yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their feet boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. And chainsaw three. First and ten. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Oh, nice hit. Third and two. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grip. The cross-stitching... Unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. 
And it's first and ten. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. He's at the 20, the 10, touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done! I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. I'm kind of not crunching his cheeks though. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back. After I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're up. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. Where? Back to the bench? He dropped it, you butts. Second down and ten. of about three on them. And the defense calls the Thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And that'll bring up third down and seven. up the first down. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And the quarterback threads the needle, and the offense is still alive. Great play for a first down. Oh, this game is so exciting, I think I just grabbed my pants. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. First down and three. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second and three. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Chance he can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Second down and more. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. 
Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too mutilated. Straight through the uprights. And we are all tied up and we're going to overtime. Go ahead and cancel that quality time with the family and continue to stream at your television. This is going to be great. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Here comes the kickoff. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Serve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. First down! He was not going to drop that one him a target more often and it's first and ten and he held on to that one for a first down first down and nine Gives up five yards there. And that'll be second down and four. down and the punter is warming up oh and did he just put on a display there touchdown the steelheads walk away victorious today the entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a defeated team should...
should get a participation award because yeah, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scotch, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so...